The probable cause of AIDS has been found. She then introduced the scientist who led the team, Dr. Robert Gallo. On that very day, Robert Gallo took out a patent for HIV. What it all boiled down to in the end was two men in a room deciding what history was. As a historian, that is really offensive. It was Gallo and Montagne sitting together saying, OK, we'll agree that you did this if we can also agree that I did that part of the process. And then they signed an agreement as to what they said had happened. It was not actually what had happened, it was horse trading about what they could agree had happened for political reasons. I had seen Michael Verney Elliott in the Meditel offices and he'd given us something of a story about um, AIDS and contaminated blood and we, we, we talked for a long time about this and I thought it was good enough to at least do a bit of preliminary research so I got some cash from Channel 4 and went out to the US to see if we could justify this story. Frankly, that story didn't stand up. But while I was there, I came across a copy of the New York Native, and they referred to an article in Cancer Research, written by Duisburg. And I just read through the article. I was bad, bad company, because it was so intellectually challenging. It was such an exciting read. It was remarkable to see a piece of work which so comprehensively and so thoroughly, in such a detailed fashion, attacked um, the, the prevailing view. I've never done a story in which there was so much resistance to the story being told. There's resistance even to the reporting of views by dissidents, even to the reporting of the fact that there are dissidents. I'm sorry to say that very little has changed in the past 20 years. If anything, the positions on both sides, that, that HIV and nothing else causes AIDS on one side, and on the other side, HIV has nothing at all to do with AIDS. If anything, those positions have become more entrenched. And that's a very great shame, because there's an awful lot of middle ground uh, and areas which would be of tremendous benefit to the public generally, to science, and of course to patients.